Hello, I would like to show you how to graph the area between functions. So first what I want to do is I want to get kind of a, a defined region. I've got a linear equation, a sinusoidal function, and a parabola. So I want to cut this parabola in half right here so that it only goes to the right side. So the first thing I'm going to do is see that that's at 90. So I'm going to go over here to the parabola and I'm going to say it only exists when x is greater than or equal to 90. And that gives me this. So now I have this kind of region right here uh, with the red going all the way down to here, the green going up to there, and then the blue going on that. And I want to shade inside that region. So first thing, let me explain how to shade. So let's explain, let's say shading, if I do, um, the way you shade is you do an inequality. So you do, let's say x equals less than 100. And notice it's shading all the values less than x equals 100. Here's 90, here's 100. And it's shading all the values less than 100. If I put an equal sign after the less than, it'll do less than or equal to. Notice the difference is that if it's just less than, it's dotted to show that the points on the line 100 are not solutions because 100 is not less than 100. Um, so that's that. Um, if I change it to greater than or equal 100, notice it's shading the other side. So if I want to shade between two, what I could do is I could do a compound inequality. So I could say 100 is less than or equal to x, which is itself less than or equal to 300. Whoops, 300. And there you go. It's shading the values, all the, all the places on the graph that have an x value between 100 and 300. It's shading those. Okay. What would happen if I change this to y equals, or uh, not y equals, but a y in between here. Well, I'm going to zoom out first because I think I know what's going to happen. Um, if I change this to a y, look what just happened. It's doing all the y values between a y of 100 and a y of 300. So instead of doing x values, it's now doing y values. But that's not what I want. So let me change that. Let's go here. All right. Um, let's first. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me change this to something more reasonable, like 3 and 1. All right, so instead of having it be at 3 and 1, let's say I wanted to um, have the top half instead of being at, sorry, the bottom half, instead of the bottom half of this shaded region being at 1, let's say I want the bottom half to be this red line. So I'm going to replace the one right here with this, that the red is equal to. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. And notice now that the graph is shaded anywhere where the y is bigger than this expression from the linear function and smaller than or equal to three. So here's three, and here's this linear function. And notice right here, there's nothing to the left because anything to the left would be bigger than this, but uh, greater than three, and it can't be greater than three. So that's good. Now I wanna change the top part. Instead of being at three, I wanted to change it to be the sinusoid. So I'm gonna go here, 
change, copy that and paste it right there. Beautiful. All right, so that's exactly what I wanted so far. Let me make this orange though. I'm gonna hold that down until like the color thing pops up and boom. All right, I want this orange, but I want it to stop right here because I wanna go between these two bits. So I'm gonna cut it off at 90. So I'm gonna do, oh, you know what? I'll just copy, nope, I won't copy. I need to do this. I need to do, um, x is less than or equal to 90. There we go. And all right, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to do the same thing right here. So um, I'm just going to kind of copy it, to be honest. Copy, go down, paste. There you go. Notice it's going in blue this time. I want to make it purple. And um, but this time, let me do greater than or equal to 90. Okay, so it's copying everything on the right half of this between the sinusoid on top and the linear function on the bottom. However, I don't want the linear function to be on the bottom. I want this thing to be on the bottom, this parabola. So I'm just going to take the bottom part of the compound inequality, the smaller part, and I'm going to replace it with the parabola which is here, copy, and paste. There we go, and if I make it orange, it should match, and there we go. I have the region bound and shaded the way I want it to.